Hi everyone, Heather Steves here, and today I'm going to share with you a fun little project that I made using the new Elizabeth Craft Art Journal Elements collection that includes these fun artist trading coins. So before I started the video, I cut everything out using the 2115 Artist Trading Coin die set. So next up, I'm going to heat emboss onto the coins. I grab my anti-static pouch and I'm just uh, covering each of those coins with that. Um, it just makes sure that I get a nice crisp image with my embossing powder. Uh, then I grab my Versamark ink and my stamp, which is from the CS347 Artist Trading Coin stamp set. Just stamping that onto the coin and then I'm adding the Ranger of Superfine Silver embossing powder. So whenever I use Versamark, I always use my stays on cleaner to make sure I get all of that sticky ink off of my stamps. And then I just use my little scrubber to clean all of that off. So since these stamps are new, you saw me just rubbing that stamp onto the palm of my hand. And the reason I'm doing that is just to season it. Um, often when you get a new stamp, it will have like oils from the production on it. And so in order to get a nice crisp image, it's best to do that. You could also just stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper a couple of times and that will help as well. Um, but the key is just to make sure that the actual stamp doesn't have any remaining oils on it or you'll get that um, kind of bubbling of the ink and so then you won't get a nice crisp image. So now once I finish up with this third coin, um, I'm going to grab them all and put them all together onto my little um, clipboard that I have prepared. Um, so this is just a clipboard with some tin foil on it. It was just something that I read um, made it easier for heat embossing. And I actually really like it because I can just clip them there. Um, and then I'm not worried about having to touch them and burn my fingers. So it just makes it a lot easier. I don't know if the tin foil really makes a difference, but I think the idea is that it heats up the back and helps it to um, heat more evenly. Whether that actually does, I don't know, but it just makes it easier for me not to have to touch them and burn my fingers. So now I'm just deciding on what stamps I want to put in the center of each of these coins. Um, I didn't stamp them at the same time only because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to use and which ones would fit nicely. So I just grabbed each individual one and now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp them again using the Versamark and then I'm going to heat emboss each of them. Now on this little dragonfly, I didn't get the best uh, stamp, so I ended up with some smudging. So I just took this teeny tiny paintbrush and I'm just kind of brushing away some of the excess um, embossing powder. Uh, it didn't really do a great job. I basically ended up erasing the little antennas, um, but anyway, it is what it is and it worked out just fine. So I'm just finishing up the heat embossing on these coins and I had decided at the beginning that I was going to do double-sided coins and I wanted one side to be heat embossed with the silver embossing powder and then the other side is going to be decorated with some of the papers from the abandoned papers collection. Um, so I went ahead and I pre-cut those out using the same uh, set, the 2115 Artist Trading Coin die set. And I'm just going to start to add those to the um, the back side of the coin or maybe it's the front side of the coin since they're double-sided. Of course, I can't leave the coins just plain like this, so I have to decorate them. So I grabbed this little bird from the Artist Trading Coin stamp set. I'm just gonna stamp that with the Versamark and then put some uh, more of the silver embossing powder on it. And then I'll just set that aside while I move on to the next one. Um, again, I grabbed another stamp from the same set and I'm just gonna stamp this little um, be in the moment text inside of this um, coin here. And then before I move on to the third one, I'm gonna grab those two images and I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss them. And now that that's completed, I can grab the little bird and cut it out with the matching die. So for the last coin, since it had a full circle of patterned paper on it, I thought I would try stamping with this splatter stamp um, with the Versamark and then embossing it with the silver because I wanted to see how that would work. Um, so I went ahead and I put the embossing powder on it and then I kind of made a mistake. <laughs> I don't, anyway, I dumped a bunch of the embossing powder but I just grabbed some scrap pieces of paper and I was able to pick most of it up and get it all cleaned up okay. Since it was my first time using this set, I wasn't too sure what this image was going to look like once it was done, but actually I really like how it turned out. Um, I went ahead and I glued down the little bird to the other coin, and then I wasn't too sure what to put on this last coin. Um, so I didn't really see a stamp that I thought was going to work, but I ended up pulling this little die cut heart out of the uh, new set 2111 labels, tags and more, and it actually worked out really nicely. 
So I decided to create a little folder to hold these coins. So I ended up die cutting two of the um, little pocket for that. So that of course is also from the artist trading coin die set. And I went ahead and I stamped this little floral image. The floral image is also from the um, artist trading coin stamp. So once those were all heat embossed, then um, my challenge was to attach them together to make this little box holder for them. Um, so because the cardstock has a white core, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't see that. So that was, I was just inking the edges. Then I'm just adding my double-sided adhesive onto the tabs. And I realized after, once I started to attach them together that I should have not put the adhesive all the way to the uh, corners. Um, just because as you're putting it together, I started with the bottom, um, the actual adhesive um, was kind of showing just because the tabs um, are on that angle. I, I don't know how to explain it. You just kind of have to look at the, the image and hopefully you can figure it out. Um, so once I had the bottom attached, um, then I started with the sides and you can see I've just made sure that I trimmed off that extra adhesive this time because I don't want it to be sticking um, to anything else once that it's attached together because the adhesive would be exposed. So I just make sure that I press everything firmly together so that it holds and I don't have any issues with it coming apart in the future. So now I'm going to work on attaching all of my coins together. So I'm just making sure they're in a nice order that I like. Um, I grabbed this ribbon that I had in my stash. I think it came from a dollar store or something. Um, and I'm just using some double-sided tape um, to attach that to the back of the first coin. So once it's attached to the first coin, then I grab just some more um, adhesive and I put the backing of that coin onto there. So that's my first coin and now I can go through and put the rest of them on. So again, making sure that I keep the pattern that I had, wanting to be careful to make sure that things are all facing up nicely so that it's not things are not crooked. Um, and then I'm just putting that third coin on there. And the reason that you see me putting the tape onto the ribbon is because that allowed me then to make sure that my coin was nice and straight. If I put it on the back of the coin, it might be harder because I couldn't see it. Uh, so next I'm just looping the end of the ribbon over. Um, so that's gonna create the top of it. And then again, adding a bunch of adhesive to the back of that coin so that I can put the coin on top of that and cover it up. And then I have my little ribbon coins all finished and they have a little holder. So I felt like I still needed a little something on the holder just to decorate it up. So I grabbed the stamp CS346, the journal phrases three, which is new from this set as well. And I just wanted to stamp this one little um, phrase here. It's a good day. Um, and then I just cut that out and then I added that to the little holder um, just to kind of distinguish that it has a front and a back. And so the back side, I didn't end up adding anything. And here is my finished product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and have yourself a wonderful day.